I like to think of myself as an intelligent man. And when someone asks me a question, I know how to go find the information intelligently. So I'm doing Goonie's work for him today. Goonie, as you know, is one of those, I'll try to be nice, one of those, I've got to be nice, I've got to be nice, be nice. One of those black people who got fooled by the idiot that started that whole, you're not Africans, to separate us. If we got together and got along, we would rise in power. But a COINTEL type agent, COINTEL pro type agent, got into the black community, start spreading these weird rumors that we're not Africans. Do you know what that, what that does, right? That separates us from black people. From our, from our roots. That takes away our power. So Goonie bought into that bullshit and is now pushing it. So he came back after, you know, I, I kept banning him. I don't like to see black people that stupid, that dumbed down. And he decided to do his own research. So instead of doing his research, he asked me the question of what happened to the slave ships. Good question. Took me less than five minutes to find the answer. But first, you got to understand what slave ships were. White people did not set out. Let me start over. Build a ship in those days was a huge project. That's why there were not very many of them by current standards. Now, every today, every Tom, Dick, and Harry's got a, some kind of yacht or boat, a little bit of money. Okay, they had to have ship builders to work with the wood. So they didn't sit, white people did not create a special boat called a slave ship. Intellectually, you've got to understand that. They didn't just suddenly build a ship called a slave ship. They reconditioned current boats. They reconditioned current boats and refitted them to hold slaves. Once you understand that, then you see the answer to Goonie's question. Now, after abolition, they created faster boats. I learned this myself. That Goonie could have learned by just doing some research. These faster boats were highly valuable to to pirates because they're so fast. They were also valuable to the U.S. Navy. They got one called the USS Nightingale and HMS Black Joke. Let me show you the USS Nightingale. Now, there were no photographs back then, so we have to rely on paintings. Actually, it looks like an early attempt at photography. There, there we go, it came through. So we have to rely on paintings. That is a re reconditioned ship. Now, the original purpose of these ships, as I learned also, they were cargo boats. Get it? They just changed it, transferring human cargo. Again, white people did not set out to build ships just to call slaves. They reconditioned the current ships. Ships were very expensive. To my knowledge, there was never a boat designed just for slavery. But you can do your own research. Remember, they were reconditioned. So what happened to them after that? They reconditioned them back, the ones that uh, after a slave was totally gotten rid of. But it still continues today. But they they recondition back to what their purpose was. What they're doing while they're hauling slaves. Hauling cargo. They're cargo boats. Goonie, come on. Don't embarrass the black race. Stop embarrassing us. This is embarrassing, Goonie. We're not this stupid. We are not this dumbed down. We are susceptible to stupidity, people like you. 
because you have low racial self-esteem. You want to create some fictitious shit that we were we're indigenous to America. Then you use a computer, but you don't want to use it believe in science. Use a cell phone, but you don't want to believe in DNA. And there's always some idiots out there that want to, you know, I don't believe in DNA. It's not totally refined yet. It's refined enough to tell where the fuck you're from. But the people that that want to believe what they want to believe are the ones that will reject the information. So, this is one of the ex-slave ships. That's what happened to the slave ships. Also, these things were sunk. Here's what here's a Spanish slave ship at the bottom of the ocean. Why don't we see those boats that bought the Quakers here anymore? Most of them were taken apart and used to, used to build other things. It's called, here, here's a word for you. Repurposing. Do, how many of those old boats that crossed the Atlantic, the box settlers here, are still around? What happened to those? Repurposing. Taking apart. Used to build other things. You go to old towns, you see the planks that are that are used as, as sidewalks. Old boats. You see the old buildings that are on the wharfs? Old boats. Old boats. Taken apart, use the wood for something else. Again, your question should have been, why don't we see more of, of the old boats that carried the settlers across the ocean? What, they didn't cross the ocean? Is that what you want to believe, Goony? They magically appeared here? Some time warp or time hole in space? And the, the settlers jumped through? Where are their boats? Please, stop the stupidity, Goony. I can't take it. Okay? I can't take my people being this dumbed down. It's embarrassing to me. Okay, so, list of the slave ships. There's a, there was only a finite number of slave ships, okay? Let's see what happened to them. The Adelaide, a French slave ship, sank in 1714 near Cuba. The Antelope, Spanish slave ship, captured near Florida in 1820. 283 slaves aboard, leading to the the Antelope case. You can find information on that. The Aurori, along with the Duc du Maine, the first French slave ship that brought the first slaves to Louisiana. Uh, La Amistad, we know about that one. If you watch the, the hideous movie, and I recommend every Caucasian person actually watch that movie, La Amistad, to see what your ancestors were about. Cargo ship that sometimes carried slaves. See note below. Braun Fish, Fish a Brandon Burgian slave ship lost in 1688 in a revolt. By the way, these slaves didn't just come, come willingly like they like you to believe that we were just docile. Oftentimes these, these ships disappeared. The warriors rose up out of those hell holes and killed everybody on board and killed themselves. Okay? As in the case of this one. Brooks sailing in the 1780s. Uh, let's see, the coal tide burned and sunk at Mobile, 1859. Cora captured by the USS Constellation, 1860. White people kept records, by the way. Creole, 
interesting name, involved the United States coastwide slave trade and the scene of the slave rebellion in 1841, leading to the Creole case. You can find information on that there. Just type in list of slave ships. Wikipedia that motherfucker. Go, the list goes on. Elizabeth sailing from Jamaica for West Africa. Duke de Maine, along with the Aurora, the first French slave ships had, that brought the slaves to Louisiana. Yeah, they're just re-mentioning it. Uh, let's see. Guerrero, Spanish slave ship, wrecked in the Florida Keys in 1827, carrying 561 Africans, which I'm sure they must all drowned. Hannibal, an English slaver to the Atlantic slave trade. So they have lists of all the boats that were known to, to carry slaves. And look, most of them sank. Henrietta Marie sank, 1700 near Marquesas Keys, Florida, excavated in the 1980s. Find that one. This boat was excavated. That means they bought that motherfucker's parts back up. Discovery and salvage. The wreck was found in 1972 during a magnetometer survey by a boat operated by the subsidiary of Mel Fisher's Treasures. I can't read the word, I can't see it. Salvers Incorporated. So there's information there. Let's continue. I see a, a interesting name, Hope, American brig that brought slaves to Rhode Island. Do you know how, how long it took the Americans to make a fucking transatlantic boat? Jesus of Lubrec, 700 ton ship used on the second voyage of John Hawkins to transport 400 captured Africans in 1564. Queen Elizabeth the first was his partner and rented him the vessel. Again, they didn't make ships just for slavery. This one sank. Slave ship captured. Used as a flagship. Renamed Queen Anne's Revenge. Let's see what happened to Queen Anne's Revenge. There's information on Queen Anne's Revenge. This was a slave sh ship. Again, they reconditioned the ships. I've got to remember to be nice. I'm talking to myself. I get so angry. I get angry at my race for falling for stupid shit. John Hawkins captured the ship and transported 400 Africans. The Mad Madrid de, de Dos, Dos, Mother of God. A uh, Manuela. These sound like a lot of Spanish ships. Spain, Portugal, and Spain were heavily involved in the slave trade. And I'm the Black Revenge. HMS Brisk in Mozambique Channel uh, with over slave, 800 slaves aboard, captured with 800 slaves. Damn. Margaret Scott confiscated. Okay. I'm not going to read all these. Do your own fucking research. How about that? How about use a piece of your brain and learn? I just did your work for you. I'm not going to do it again. Finally, there is actually a good documentary of a... He was a prince from West Africa. He was brought to this country as a slave. There's a good documentary uh, that you can find evidence of it right here on YouTube. I don't remember the name of it. They made it into a, a movie. He was a prince from West Africa, uh, Timbuktu area. He was mistakenly captured and put in slavery and shipped over here. Okay? He talks about it. Okay? He actually lived through it after slavery was... He was freed, actually. He was, first of all, he was freed. Uh, he had a, a, a wife from here and kids from here. 
that he had over here. He actually never returned home. Okay, there's a really, really good documentary on that. And he kept telling them that he was a prince. They found out he could read and write. Eventually he won his freedom uh, with the help of a white abolitionist. His slave master didn't want to free him though, but he finally got his freedom. And his goal was to return home. But he had a wife and kids. Uh, something happened to the family, something happened to him, as I recall, and then he, he was finally re He was finally re